right, good afternoon, you guys. It is uh, still September 2nd, so Thursday. It's about 11.45, and we are heading down here way out in the uh, county. We're going to this one house. Uh, I got a call out here. I was in, in Oriental doing a whole bunch of stuff. I got a call out here about a new cooling call. A lot of the stuff I was doing in Oriental was... Uh, estimates and just looking uh, pictures you know just doing stuff like that there's a couple of houses down there that are gonna get new systems but this is an actual service call I'm gonna go out here and see what we can do to fix it fix it up for this guy all right so we're out here working on this older uh, American Standard Heritage 10 it's a 2001 it's a two-ton R22 refrigerant we got something clicking around in there I can already hear. Um, what she had told me that it was tripping the breaker. And you can see, 25. Come over here. I think she was saying it was in here. 60s. I don't know, maybe it's... You got a generator here? I hear you. Maybe it's that 30 then. This is getting cool. I'm gonna pop this door off, check amperage, check pressures, you know, do the whole nine. See what we can find out about this thing. Alright, so I got the gauges on it. We just had started it, so we'll give that time to to check it out um, she's a little dirty but not too bad I think I'm hearing this check valve there's a check valve right here I think that's what I'm hearing ticking that or the uh, compressor I can feel it vibrating in this check valve yeah y'all can hear that there's like little balls and beads and stuff inside of those. I've had to replace one on a on a uh, American Standard unit before, and um, pretty interesting. Okay. So they're talking about it tripping a breaker. Let's get a let's get an amp draw. On the compressor. I think the highest I saw is 1127. Oh yeah, that's over amping. Compressor's over amping. Okay. Let's see what we can do on our fan. 65. So, compressor's over amping. The outdoor motor's good. Let's put it back on here. Let's check it out again. Yeah, not by a whole bunch, but it is over amping, so that's letting us know it's on its way out. Maybe this check valve has something to do with it. Not letting the refrigerant go. But I don't know why it's tripping the breaker, per se. I hate messing with stuff like that. Of course we're not going to get a... Because it's not a singular wire. Well, we'll just add it together. So we should... We're definitely under the 25. 
So as far as that breaker goes, it could be weak. But this thing's pretty well on its last leg. Hmm. But other than that, I mean, it doesn't really look terrible. I mean, it's really cool outside today. It's like 75 degrees out here. It's really cool. Now we'll go inside and see what it's got in there. So someone had squeezed the bejesus out of this capacitor. So this is a, it's a Sepco brand. 35 plus 5 We're on our common and our hermetic. Look what we're getting 9.4 that is weak that could cause the breaker to trip So we're gonna replace we're gonna replace this and we'll, We can check the fan too, but There's really no need, but we'll check it too Yeah, 3.7 so it's weak this things weak. They had squeezed the crap out of it. I don't know if you can see. It's like you can see where they squeezed it. It's like, dude, good night. No squeezing it. No squeezing it. All right, so we got a new 35.5. I had to bend this because it's smaller, but I didn't want to like put it down here where the other one was and then bend the heck out of it. You know, so we got it snug. We got a new capacitor. And uh, let's see if that helps with our amp draws. But I know this right here, y'all can hear it rattling. Yeah, that's all about to break loose. Get sucked through the system, probably gonna clog this up here soon. All right, y'all gonna have to be my eyes. So I'm gonna be down here. Come on, get Had to come down here and see where it was at. See, that's a lot better. We're under our 11. Let's watch it, see what it does. Sounds like one might have come up here. Hmm. If that blocks it, we're going to see some ant rise. Looks like there's a could have been a possible leak in here. Get some bubbles, put some bubbles in that little spot right there. But the amps are holding out good, so that's good. Yeah, well, I'm not really, not really finding anything that I'm thinking it could be. I think this one's got some. Let's see if we can get a better stream on there. Okay, so please tell me it's 80 degrees inside, so we should be a little bit higher than that. Um, we're going to juice her up with the uh, Blue Banshee. I went ahead and purged already. 
and uh, we're gonna give her a little, a little, little blue banshee, the blue Sheba. Probably not gonna need much. I bet this has got something that's really big to do with it. See, we're sitting already better. I've only added three ounces. She's just on her last leg. She's an oldie. All right, so that was an easy call. We got that one, uh, that one squared away. So the capacitor was a 35 that was on there. It was reading nine. And she was complaining about the, you know, the breaker was going off. And that could easily, you know, make the breaker uh, kick. Um, that check valve in there is rattling pretty bad. I guarantee you one of those um, beads that are in there is going to break loose. Um, but we did get it, the amperage down. Before it was over amping, it was like 1172, and now it's hovering around like 950, 960. So that's doing a little bit better. Uh, really wasn't low on refrigerant. I added like, I added like nine ounces. So, you know, and I told her, let's just see what it does, you know, see if it gets any better. She's got the UPA warranty so they don't you know they don't they don't pay anything you know everything's taken care of um which i don't really like these warranty companies because i like to be like a hundred percent and they're all like oh don't tell them anything if they need to know something they'll call us it's like okay that's kind of uh it's kind of sketch but anyways you know it's an 01 american standard Technically, if they want to, you know, cut out that valve, you could probably, uh, you know, patch it up. But, you know, you're throwing good money after bad at that point. So, not sure what they're going to do. Hopefully, it lasts her another couple of years. But, it's going to need a replacement here pretty soon. Um, you know, 2001, you know, you're 20 years old. Hopefully, you can get another five years out of it be 25 years old. And then, you can get yourself a new one. Either way, she's working. Uh, she's working good. She's better than uh, she was when I got there, and that's all that matters. Just make it a little bit better. Um, you know, make it work a little bit better than when you got there. That's all you can really do. You know, um, you can't do. You know, when when you're handed uh, something like that, you know, you can just make the most of it, and that's what I did. You know, so it's a uh, great day in the life of an AC service tech. We're back on to Merit and see what we got over here.